Inside Gaming is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet provider see all the sites you visit. Hide your browsing activity at expressvpn.com slash inside. Ubisoft officially announced earlier this week that it plans to begin developing games that use blockchain technology and NFTs. But what does that even mean? Well, I'm going to explain it to you as quickly and as simply as I possibly can. Starting at the beginning, a non-fungible token, or NFT, has become the shorthand for describing a digital item that is completely unique via a special ID, or token, and therefore can be owned. The reason it's possible to own and make unique digital items is because of the development of blockchain technology which allows developers the ability to track and store data in a chronological way that can't be easily manipulated. Blocks of data chained together, if you will. The origin and then the preceding history of an NFT is what makes it unique and peer-to-peer -peer connections across thousands of devices around the world authenticated. So regardless of how many Craig memes are floating around the internet, yours might be special if it's the earliest known screenshot or it was previously owned by like The Rock or something. Despite a number of ridiculous real world and hypothetical use cases, the concept and the technology is very real and for the most part sound. However, pretty much everything else surrounding NFTs and blockchain technology is pure chaos. As explained in detail by The Verge, the process of authenticating NFTs is creating a significant climate pollution issue, and the Wild West nature of NFT marketplaces are highly volatile with unchecked grifters, scams, and sketchy play-to-earn games generating new headlines almost every other day. But regardless of significant issues, current and impending, NFTs and blockchains are on a crash collision with the games industry as mega corporations are spending millions of dollars to invest in blockchain gaming, which of course brings brings us back to Ubisoft and their plans for NFT-enabled development, potentially around franchises like Assassin's Creed, Rainbow Six, Watch Dogs, and Far Cry. Generally, the type of digital history NFTs have been concerned with are transactional, but the data set could actually be anything. For example, hypothetically, in addition to who owned a particular in-game item, you could track things like how many kills a particular weapon has, or how far it's traveled while being used, and even how many times players have died while using it. Really, you can do all of those things now, it's just the authentication part that makes NFTs unique. However, it appears Ubisoft isn't as interested in new types of gaming experiences that explore what it really means to own a digital item, but instead want to be at the forefront of creating a new standard for digital marketplaces, which has been attempted and failed in games many, many times, even before NFTs were a thing. In an earnings call just yesterday, Ubisoft's Chief Executive Officer Yves Guillemot explained, As you see, this industry is changing regularly with lots of new revolutions happening. We consider blockchain one of those revolutions. It will imply more play to earn that Will enable more players to actually earn content, own content, and we think it's going to grow the industry quite a lot. So we have been working with lots of small companies going on the blockchain, and we want to be one of the key players there. So in short, it sounds like Ubisoft plans to use NFTs to create an ecosystem for players to earn, buy, and sell digital goods, all while they sit back and take a cut of every transaction. What's different here than the usual microtransactions we are used to seeing in games is the potential for the NFT element to drive big sales via tapping into a collector mentality like we've already seen happen with basic JPEGs and digital sports cards. But with real world or more traditional currency involved as an incentive for players to engage with a game, it raises new questions around the exploitive nature of play to earn's relationship with play to win, as well as a potentially unchecked and unlegislated marketplace filled with scammers. It all seems like a bit much, especially considering concepts of digital ownership in games have been around forever without the need for an authentication process that requires a carbon footprint equal to a month's worth of electricity for just a single item. Maybe that's why Valve decided earlier this month to ban blockchain games and NFTs on Steam entirely. Inversely, Epic has said they are open to supporting NFT games on the Epic Game Store, and that's likely because they want to harbor an environment where blockchain technologies can improve so they can eventually emulate them in their grand schemes for an all-encompassing metaverse. Now, if you're lost all over again with that word, we made a video earlier this year explaining the metaverse, so you can go check that out for a better explanation, but effectively, there are a number of major companies racing to become the de facto stewards of a digital utopia with untapped economic potential. All they need to make the whole thing work is your time and your money. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments.